Yes, so Ernie killed my lights right now. I'm trying to do an interview. I played Francis Red. I played the guy sleeping on the couch. Planning on doing the interview, the talking behind the scenes of the Marsha Chronicles. But no, I have no light right now. I pr played um, the gay, you know, bodyguard Bruno. I'm Spencer Turner. I played as Bug on the Mar Marsha Chronicles. Ernie, I need the lights on! I played the dumb, goofy guy. Played the typical father looking for his daughter at a uh, wild party. I think I was just a cameraman for that. That's fine. The Marshall Chronicles started out just as a skit, just a, a one-time skit. I came home early from work one day and I put together this little skit of uh, me fading in and out. And all I really wanted to do was test a theory of how to do a uh, special effect. And from that special effect, I made this short film. A uh, short film about myself from the future, coming to visit myself from the past and uh, giving me a warning about not dating some girl. Stop talking now, I got an interview. Yeah, so I put it up on Facebook and I got a lot of uh, got a lot of comments on it saying it was cool and clever and whatnot. I decided I wanted to do a, a skit with my brother Spencer. Spencer asked me, could you, could I be involved in the film? So we got, came up with this idea for this bomb skit. And so I added in uh, Marsha and did this one. You know, Spencer saying, well, did Marsha, you know, send you the bomb and whatnot. And we got some good hits on that one. And, so I wanted to make another skit with me talking to myself in the future and the past. I asked Spencer if he wanted to be in another one and he said he did. I wanted to get more into filming, doing action scenes, and Terry said he was going to be doing Marsha Chronicles. So I asked if I could, he said yes, and I'm all doing it. When we did the scene where Terry was talking to himself in the car, it was probably my favorite scene of all of them because that was just looking funny because he pulled it off really good. I was going to finish filming a skit this afternoon. We filmed part of it uh, with Spencer upstairs. And I was going to film the other half, but the other half takes place outside. And them uh, looming clouds up there. Another continuation of the Marsha Chronicles. And I think I'll just go inside and get some editing done, maybe. I'll try for tomorrow. Just don't want to get caught halfway in between. That's a problem. If you film half a scene and it's perfectly bright in one scene, and you got to film the other half the next day, and the lighting makes a huge difference. So, oh well. And I wanted to come up with an idea for a series that would be really easy and simple to do. We thought, why don't we just make up the series called The Marsha Chronicles, where this Marsha's trying to kill me. She sends all these assassins and killers to try and you know, try and kill me. There's generally only two or three people involved. Uh, a lot of times it was just me and Spencer just setting up a camera stand and ad-libbing a lot. There really wasn't much scripted, it just kind of made up as you went along. Best parts were ad-libbing. I, I love doing this. I, I have uh, a lot of fun doing it. Filming, acting. We went from, you know, three skits and saying maybe we'll do six to... And by about the time we hit the eighth one, I realized I was going to have to do some big grand finale because we hit eight skits of the Marsha Chronicles and we hadn't even... We hadn't even met Marsha yet. This is Arnie's first stunt. Big stunt. I Thomas? might need a doctor after this. All right. A bloody Peggy. doctor. Doctor who? <laughs> this will hurt. <laughs> There's a lot of questions of what Marsha looked like and, you know, what was she going to be like? What was I going to do for her grand finale? My brother Spencer came up to me and said he wanted to be in a big grand finale. He wanted to work with more than just, you know, me and him because he hadn't really had a chance to work with anyone else. My experience filling the big action scene was great. I absolutely loved it. I abs I wish I was able to take more pictures while I was actually acting. I got blown up, shot in the head. I dived in dirt. I could. I was the only one that could walk around, with the eye patch in my eye, <laughs> uh, and walk straight. Because it was just so much fun watching us all get in this big action scene. This goofy action scene, which I usually don't get to do that much because usually I'm playing the serious bad guy. I was trying to figure out how we we're going to end it, and um, that lady at work who had been uh, very um, adamant of it, watching a lot of it, said, well, you know, why don't you do fantasy? And I thought, what about your mind? And then she said, well, no, in the beginning, uh, in the beginning, you was fantasy with you from the future visiting yourself. Uh, so why don't you end it with fantasy? So that kind of helped us roll into what we were going to do. Why is it oh. always me? Guys, oh, oh, you all right? Oh, it's me, huh? Another one. Oh, last one. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, I'm Anyone? good. Ernie, you still there? Yeah. What the hell's happening with the lights? So it came time to shoot the big ending uh, action sequence. Four or five people who I hadn't really even met 
until that day. The whole ending action sequence wasn't scripted exactly how I wanted to do it, but I figured I wasn't going to write it out because I wasn't even sure how many people were going to show up. I didn't want to be involved in the big fight. I wanted to give Ernie and uh, Spencer a chance just to be kind of, you know, action leads in the scene. Did you try turning him back on? I didn't touch anything. I know, I didn't touch the bolt though. Terry? I'll go. Dude, you want to fault that right? Is that, you know, this still on? Yep. We broke up uh, shooting Spence's fight at the same t at the same time. The guys were practicing Ernie's fight. S put those guys aside. I knew they could choreograph. I figured out so Matt and Ernie did most of the, most of the fight choreography for the ending uh, fight. And I think it's just a really funny and fun and kind of dark, twisted way action sequence. It's just a lot of fun to do. Real blast. The grand finale probably was the best we could do. Very funny, very comical. Uh... The next day. We filmed Marsha's sequence. We shot it the day right after. So when Marsha, when uh, Mindy got there to play Marsha, there was no one there besides John, me, and Mindy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mindy is a very nice person. Finally seeing Marsha. Marsha was uh, extremely mysterious and evil. Uh, to finally see her was almost like a relief, and at the same time, I was a little bit uh, uh, nervous. Marsha was a bitch. Hi, I'm Terrence Taylor, Narrow Street Films. We are on the set of the finale of the Marsha Chronicles right ah! now. Hang on just one second. I thought it was really cool because, you know, we're all wondering who's Marsha, who's the crazy nut. No, I mean, they're just shooting someone because, well, a stupid date. Mindy did a very good job playing that role because, well, first of all, she's one of the best actresses. Um, we got, um, actually the only actress we got, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mindy figured out the fight. We did the whole fight in the dialogue. and. Still to film the whole hangover sequence, which we, uh, that was a highly, highly scripted scene. So, Sorry? Yes! Call me, All right. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. So you can't see me right now, but I'm trying to shoot this interview and they're cutting the power on me at the moment. I think the camera's battery powered. We are right now, say hi, Arnie. Hi. About ready to film <laughs> the last scene from Marsh Chronicles. There was Peggy. She's of no importance. I wanted to write something that was left you kind of thinking and people wondering, you know, what was going on and try to have little theories about, you know, well, well maybe it was this, well, maybe it was that, so we added in a lot of clues. Put on my leather jacket! Yeah, that shirt's too light. We're going to have to post Mindy. <laughs> Dan, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> You're the only one with a nice face. Me or you. So there is an answer to it all. I'm curious if people can figure it out. Kind of a humorous confusion. The film Marsh Chronicles was a blast. It was a lot very surprising. We learned a lot. Uh, first time we ever did a night shoot, you know, shooting with some night lighting. Uh, I got to do some fun action scenes. Uh, I got to work with Spencer and Mindy and a big crew. Got to meet some new guys. Got some extra stunt crew. And so in case you're wondering why I'm sitting in the dark, the power went out. And, but the cameras still got power and so do my computers. But the lights are out and they can't figure out why. So here I am sitting in my room, kind of dark, talking to a camera. It's really weird looking, I know. But there's nothing I can do about it. So now I'll just give the crazy eyes. Uh.